Or bad. Volunteers with the Red Cross have been spreading out all across the state, helping people recover from the tornadoes. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Those who have been in Red Cross shelters since the beginning are now getting hotel vouchers as we reach the next phase of recovery. The vouchers are being given out through a partnership with the state. Our Neil Zerang is live at one of the disaster recovery centers that is trying to reach as many people as possible. Neil. Kevin, Donna, I've been seeing volunteers. I'm told that there are hundreds of them going throughout central Arkansas, whether they're knocking door to door or at these newly opened disaster recovery centers. They're trying to help as many people as they can wherever they are. We have people from Ohio, from Florida, from Texas, from all over the country. That's if you reflect on everything that's happening in and outside the American Red Cross offices in Little Rock, you could say they're operating an army, an army fighting for the well-being of Arkansans. Right now, our primary focus is making sure that those who have been affected by the tornadoes have a safe place to go. Joanne Woody is a volunteer from Missouri, helping with logistics as a nonprofit partners with the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management and Department of Human Services in a transition from housing people in shelters to funding nights in hotels. To qualify, you must be in Pulaski, Lone Oak, or Cross Counties. I lived at a one hotel, then I went to another hotel, then I moved to another hotel. This last place we was in, Red Cross took over for us. Robert Bassett says it's been stressful for his family not knowing what the next day will bring since their home on Shackleford Road was taken out by a tornado. A disaster recovery center opened this week, helping him and his wife get what they need. It helps more because people, you can actually talk to people and they understand what you're actually going through. Come talk to Red Cross. They'll help you. They help you 100%. And if you can't make it to one in person, they say you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS for assistance. We're meeting with organizations every day to, to figure out who's got what resources that will help fill the needs now, next month, in two months, or in six months. Because there are some families that won't be in that new permanent, that new normal for, for a year maybe. You know, it's just it's unfathomable how long it can take sometimes. There are four disaster recovery centers. There's this one in Little Rock, then there's one in Sherwood, Jacksonville, and Wynn. Each one is open from 9 a.m. in the morning to 7 p.m. at night on weekdays, except for Jacksonville. That one closes at 5.30 tomorrow, and I'm told the only one that will be open Saturday is in Wynn. And if you want to get more details on those exact locations, you can go to our website, fox16.com. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang. All right.